So we're going to do uh, our Dora text, and uh, they take the whole Pramana Vartika, the root text, by who? Kirti. Yeah, and sometimes people confuse him with Chanda Kirti, so get your Kirtis right. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sumati Kirti, mm -hmm. Dharma Kirti, and Chanda Kirti. And, um, And it's a very difficult text, extremely difficult. Like people don't even try to memorize the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. We studied the first chapter for in the intercollegiate debates for I did four years, and we didn't finish. And um, it's extremely difficult. So the Dora was designed to teach the top the content without the pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, I want to show you the real uh, word Dura, okay? Mm -hmm. So we can go like this, okay? So that's the real spelling of Dura, okay? Mm. What happened? Uh, cha became Ra, yeah. like chur what's Chura? Chura? Yeah. Oh, the background. Yeah. It's really chudra. Mm. Dra means an enclosure. Oh, yeah, Someone who stays in a in an enclosure is called a monk. Draba, which is a monk. That's a Tibetan word for monk. So it's really uh, like a enclosed enclosed summary, mm -hmm. box summary, mm -hmm. with what do you call it? Compartmented summary. Right. Okay, Dura. It's really Dutra. And uh, there's the Wasser, the yeah. small triangle, mm -hmm. to to distinguish it from other dust. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the do? Hmm? What's the do? Uh, abbreviated. Uh, so you can say, uh, you know, compartmented abbreviations or something. Okay. I call it, you can see here, uh, what did I call it? A uh, logic primer. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're studying the say dura. Which say? Sonar uh, Tashi. Mm-hmm. Sonar Tashi. Sonar S-R-A-S, right? Uh -huh. Like Prince. Uh -huh. Okay. Like Gyal say, yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Completely different vocabulary. Completely different school. Completely different style of writing. So in this course, if you survive, 
Yes. You will learn all the major styles of Buddhist writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please read the title. Go. Zene Gongjo Ki Tenche Chen. Tenje Chen Bo Nam Jo Ki Tenchik to Denchik to Jo. Chowa. Chowa. Lorab Tring Tamo Tama Sundu Tumba Lekshi. Tumba. Tumba means Tumba. Tumba means you get along. Tumba, Lekshi, Chenbo, Kepe, Mugen. Gulgen. It's in Gul, yeah. Gul, Mugen. Kelsang, Rewa, Kung Kong, Shi Jawa Shutsu. So like King Kong, Kung Kong. Kung Kong. Okay. Kung Kong, Shi Jawa Shutsu. You know, I've been translating a lot of titles with people because Dr. Wu sponsored, you know, the database. We've been translating titles for a couple of years now. Um, go to the end first. Mm -hmm. The, what do you call that? Ornamental title mm -hmm. is, comes at the end, but in English it comes first. Mm -hmm. You know, like The River of Wisdom, a commentary to Gelsab J's. See what I mean? You do this. You do the pretty title first, and then you do the descriptive title. Okay, so you start at the end. So I'm going to start, um, and this one happens to have two descriptive, two two pretty titles, mm -hmm. two ornamental titles. First one is Kelsang Rewa Kun Kong. Okay, Kelsang Kun Rewa Kun Kong. So let's try to translate that much. Kelsang, Kelsang, Kelsang. Like fortunate. Yeah. Mm hmm. What's it literally mean? Um, Kelwa, and then yeah, good. is like to be to have the blessing or the virtue, the karma, the virtue to understand something or receive yeah. something. It it literally means those who have enough good karma mm -hmm. to understand the book. Kelsang, very common Tibetan first name. Rewa. Rewa, I'm not sure. Hope. Hope. Hopes. Right. Plural. <clears throat> Kun. Oh. Good. And Kong, I don't know. No, Kong means to fulfill. Mm. It's related to the word kung, which means what? Kung? Mm -hmm. Full. Full. Okay? Like, and in Tibet, you don't say, give me a cup of tea, you say, give me a full of tea. Mm. Cha kung chi. Cha kung chi. No, kang a kung. SG is gang tong sikim. Okay. So, fulfilling the hopes of all the fortunate ones, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have to do mm, Kepe Gulgen. Uh, he, here, oh. okay? Uh, third line. What's kep, Kepa? Master. Good. Gul means uh, that's the honorific for throat. Yeah, uh, it's just the necklace, right? Yeah, oh, a nice. necklace on the throats of the... Yeah. Of the wise. Okay. Um, or we would just say a necklace for the wise. Okay. Now, oftentimes they'll say nagyan. Not a nagyan. Nagyan. Yeah. RNA. Yeah. yeah because it's. The, the earrings. Wise because when you hear it, it's like somebody gave you an earring. Mm. It's something beautiful to put in your ear. A necklace for the wise. <laughs> but when it's something beautiful to recite, don't say a necklace. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry I'm eating, but I enjoy eating. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. Um, the correct or valid? Yeah, so that's the most important subject that he's going to deal with for the rest, for the rest of his life. <laughs> Five years. Sema is one of the great subjects of Buddhism. It's called pramana. Pramana. Say pramana. Pramana. Mm. It means a valid perception. Okay. What's the difference between valid and correct? Valid is not necessarily correct. Correct. Nice. My God, most Americans don't know that. Okay, valid means like my boss. He would say, "Buy, buy two hundred thousand diamonds before tomorrow." Then I would, uh, I wouldn't buy them. I would couldn't buy them. Then he'd say, "Why didn't you buy them?" You know, I'd say, "Well, 
the price was too high. And he said, that was a valid decision, but it was a wrong decision. Right. You know, based on what you knew, you made the correct decision. But based on what you didn't know, it was wrong. <laughs> so it's very, very important in Buddhism. Uh, correct, you, we'll call it correct perception. Mm. Okay, but... And the definition of existence in, in Buddhism is what? Yeah, that which is perceived with a pramana. So it, then the study of logic became known as pramana. Like your subject is Vinaya, Vinaya your subject is Siddhanta, Abhidharma, Majamaka, and your subject is pramana. Okay? Uh, gong, gongba? Um, uh, to the, yeah, it's like the, uh, to illuminate? Yeah. Or uh, the try the other half. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> true thought. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's yeah, true yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard a gong there. What was that? Mm. Anyway, it means what somebody really is thinking. Okay, gomba means what someone's really thinking. Yeah. Mm. Job. Um, to, well, to the true intent of the or the true thought of the commentary. Right? Uh, commentary on the true thought. On the true thought, yeah. Okay. Um, don't you? It's a classical commentary. Yeah, like that. that's Shastra. In. Uh, Shastra or Shastra? Shastra. Shastra. Let's look it up. Shastra. Shastra. You which one do you want to bet on? It's Shastra. Yeah. I commentary you said that recently at Long Rim. You've yelled at me at least twice for that. <laughs> there it is. Lale Shastra is commentary. Yeah. Okay. That's an example of why you have to pronounce Sanskrit correctly. Long A. Ah, uh, short A, uh. Okay, Shastra means sword. Shastra means a holy book. If you use the wrong pronunciation, you're in trouble. It's like if you don't know tones in Chinese. So, would you like to use classical commentary for Chimpo? And all the yoga teachers. I, used to, I like to say classical commentary. Chimbo. Uh, great. The great one. Nam Do. Um, mm, I mean, I'm. Tempted to say use commentary. This is Simon Ah, uh, oh, um, that's the Pramana. Yeah, Pramana Vartika. Pramana Vartika. Of who? Uh, Dhammakirti. Okay, so the Pramana Vartika Kama, that great classical commentary which comments upon the true intent of the teachings on correct perception. Okay, read it backwards, syntax backwards. Okay, and the meaning of that, of the meaning of that commentary, okay, the din, okay, cheek to do what? Here, large. I want to say one or many. This is do yeah. yeah, that's called do what? Cheek to do what? All combined together, wrapped up into one. The meaning of the that is huge. Is all wrapped up into one. Here, in my commentary. Okay, Chikdudila. And Chikdudila in the monastery or in a community means unity. You know, Chikdudila means let's do Chikdudila. You know, let's let's all for one and one for all. Um, now, this book is Stomba. This book is taught for law, mm -hmm. intellect. Rap, Ding, and Tama, all three. <clears throat> yeah, Tama, Tama means really lowest. So I designed, I, I would say Dumba here, I would say designed. Okay, designed for people of high intellectual capacity, medium, and lower. All three are satisfied with this, with my book. Okay. Uh, Lecture Chimbo. <clears throat> uh, great explanation. Yeah. Okay. So here's my rough translation, okay? 
Mm. Sorry to eat and give it. Mm. Fulfilling the hopes of, of the fortunate, uh, a necklace for the wise, mm. the great explanation designed for both, designed for all three, for people of highest capacity, medium, and lesser, which, which, com, which wraps, up in it. wraps into it the meaning of the commentary on correct perception, that great classical work which itself comments on the true intent of the teachings on correct perception. <laughs> and that's, that's just the title of the book. <laughs> now, in the monastery, it would be called um, something like, well, it's called Sedura. P books get a nickname, okay? like Phantom or something. <laughs> books get a nickname in the monastery. This happens to be called Sedura. Sedura or the Se from Yose? Yeah, Sedura. If you say Sedura, it means the. The summary. I was thinking that with that TSAD, that would be incorrect. Because we had right? Setan with you, right? Like that could also Who's Setan? Suddhodana. <laughs> the Buddhist father. Okay. Now he's going to. Namadam Gumbu Jambe Yanga Chakthalo. I bow down to uh, the, my protector, um, Jampa Yang, or Manjushri. A gentle voice, sorry. And Lama. Uh, oh yeah, and <laughs> my lala. And now, now, how do you phrase it? How do you split it? Are you bowing down to your lama and the protector Manjushri? Yeah. Or are you bowing down to your lama and protector who is Manjushri? Yeah. Or are you yeah. bowing down to, you know? So I'll give you a clue. Well, I'll give you, if someone asks you 20 years from now, why did you cut it that way? You're going to say, his llama was... <coughs> uh, oh, um, Johnny and Chippewa. Yeah, so we can combine it. Mm -hmm. I oh, bow yeah, down right, to my right. llama and protector, gentle voice. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Rather than I bow down to my llama and to the protector, gentle voice. And yeah. if someone questions you, you can remember. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now, this is presented in a debate format, the whole book. Mm -hmm. And there are questions and answers. There are replies that are not written down. They're understood. My system of translating this kind of book is to supply them. Okay? And, and I wouldn't even put them in parentheses. Because the goal of this series of books, the classics of Middle Asia, is to make books that normal people can read, as close to read as possible. Then the hypertextures will go crazy. And who cares about hypertextures wow. going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kajing um, Nare. Uh, someone says. Yeah. Or suppose someone comes. I mean, I call this suppose someone comes and makes the following claim. Yeah. Yeah. That covers Kajing Nare and Serna at the end of the line. Mm -hmm. So, Ser is a famous, famous word for claim. They claim. Mm -hmm. He claims Trump is a good president. What's it mean? That yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. You, you, you don't say, he says, yeah. Trump is a good president. You say, if you say it this way, he says Trump is a good president. <laughs> it means you don't believe it. But if you use the word claim, and says so it's very common in Abhidhamma. Mm -hmm. Tell me why, Stanley. Yes, <laughs> Why is the word claim so common in the Abhidhamma Kosha? They claim. Because Vasubandhu doesn't believe in He was asked by his brother to write the history of a school he didn't believe. <laughs> they say, yeah. you'll see it all over, Sarah's all over the Abhidhamma. They say Sarah, right? Sarah. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes he didn't have room for Sarah, so just like Chiro, mm -hmm. Selo. Mm. And the low there means I don't believe it. Okay. So somebody, so kachi, what's ka mean? Mouth. Yeah, one mouth means, kachi nare means one mouth comes and says. What did we learn about the opening line in a debate in like Thailand? And 
What's a good way to start a debate? Take some, say something wrong. Nobody can talk. Start with something wrong. Yeah. The sky is blue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oranges, are, oranges are blue. <laughs> you know, you, you always start a debate with something wrong. And then the, the other guy has to prove you're wrong. Okay, so that's the didactic, that's the pedagog pedagogical yeah. method of Tibet and Buddhism. You don't sit there and tell somebody, here's the, what's correct. You tell them what's wrong, and you tell them why it's wrong, and you don't tell them what's correct for a long time. Okay. By the end of the, all the wrongs, they figure out what's correct. Mm -hmm. So there's a brilliant system, you know. So they'll go for a long time. This is called, what are the three great divisions of, 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 a, of, a, didact, of a didactic presentation? Subjective, social, and organizing. Oh, yeah. System, yeah. Yeah. Say Shenlu. Dakpa. The first part we we proved the other guys wrong. Then Ranglu Shakpa. Mm -hmm. Our system. The way we then we present what's correct. Yeah. Then Subapoma. Uh, their objections too. Yeah, he gets to come back and say, wait a minute, you know. Yeah. I didn't exactly say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a great educational system. It, it's all Asia. Um, we could learn, we could have it in our university. Uh, okay. So here he is. Kara Yena Mabra Yimbe Yimbe Kyap. Translate. If something is a color, if something is a color, it's necessarily red. It has to be red. Well, you can say this is a stupid argument. This is the first of the great Dura subjects. Dura has like 20 subjects. The first one is called Kadok Karma. It's called White and Red. Color is White and Red. The study of White and Red. And it's just to learn the format. It's for little kids who, who don't know how, you know, you're teaching them to debate. Okay. Okay. If, if something is a color, it must be red. Okay. Now, you have to decide on the format here at the beginning, and you have to fuck. You don't use necessarily. I don't know. What do you think? It must necessarily be red? That's too wordy. You want to say it, it must, must always, red. must always be red? I, I mean, I think it must be red kind of gets it across. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, what's the difference between must and necessary? Well, I was thinking you could cut off. No, do you have to say must always? I don't know that mm -hmm. you do. No, neither. No, I think must. Must and must okay. always. Must implies always. Yeah. Okay. If something is the color, it must be red. Cool. Okay. Mm. Then we come back with a counter example. Okay, counter example. Why? We have to choose something which is both blah and blah. Okay. A color and not, not red. Good. Okay. The counter example has to be two things. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has to be something which has both colors. Mm -hmm. Then chudum kapo kado church and say chudum. Chudum kapo kado kado church and church and church and church and. Okay. Mm -hmm. Church and is an ancient Sanskrit word. I guess it's dharmin or something. Dharmin. <laughs> dharmin. Mm -hmm. Having a dharma, uh -huh. and it refers to an object uh -huh. that has a quality. Yeah. So chu here means kichu, uh -huh. which means the quality, and keshi is the thing that has the quality. So chu jen means something which possesses a quality, but in common language it means consider, mm. or take this example. Mm. Okay. Chu jen, it means take, let, we're going to say consider, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, consider the kado. Another color. Of a chu dung carpo. A white conch shell. Yeah, white conch shell. This is what they use in the uh, assembly. <laughs> white conch shell. Chu dung. Chu means it's uh, been made into a horn already. Okay. Chu dung. Okay. Um, so you might want to say a chunk conch shell horn or something. I don't know, but that's. You guys debate it. I think conch shell is probably okay. Now, uh, 
tell, this next sentence ends in tell, okay? This one here, okay? Now, depending on, in Tibetan, there's no tones, except rarely, and sometimes they're very important, okay? Like, wu and wu. Okay, so here, if you go, Marpo Yimba Tao, or you go Marpo Yimba Tao, you go high or low, it changes the meaning. Okay, so, it means it must be. Okay, uh, so sarcastically, sarcastically, mm -hmm. oh, that must be red, right? Mm -hmm. It must be red, right? Mm -hmm. If you believe it, you say, which means it must be red. That's the higher tone? Yeah. Higher means I believe it. Lower means I don't believe it. That's why we cannot automate this, this answer. All right. We were, th we were going to automate things. That's what I did in Course 13. I didn't write half of Course 13. I automated it. I made uh, macros. Really? Yeah, they filled in the responses and, you know, I saved like a month. Sure. I cooked that on in like a weekend. Your hyper textures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so are we going down or up? Is my question. Down means I don't believe it. Up means I do believe it. Don't I go? Huh? Don't. I, it it depends because I could say I could be sarcastic with either one of them. Uh, no. Yeah, down yeah, yeah, yeah. means you're being sarcastic. Down, yeah. Yeah. Say down. Marple yumba tau. Marple yumba tau. Are you are you telling me it's yeah. red? Are you telling me yeah. it's red now? The higher school of Madhyamika is divided into two, two schools. The higher school is called Tel Gyur, Tel Gyur Pasangika, Pasangika. Okay, Pasangika means a sarcastic statement. Oh. Somebody says, "Oh, all all cars are good." Uh, you, say, you say, like, my car's good, right? <laughs> okay, like that. It's sarcastic, okay? So the highest school of Madhyamika, which is the basis of all Tantra and the basis of all, all Buddhism, is called sarcastic answer. <laughs> the sarcastic answer school, okay? And I call it the consequence school. Consequence means, according to what you said, then there's a necessary, ridiculous consequence. You know, you said, if something is a color, it must be white. And I say, oh, so apples are white, right? That's called prasangika. Okay, and now, why, why are they called prasangika? Because they're attacking someone else's presentation. It's deeper than that. Um, why is the lower school called independent? Because they think the logic has some kind of power from its own side to, yeah. to get people. They think that a sarcastic statement has its own power. Mm. This way, the lower middle school says, when you say, oh, I guess apples are white, huh? then they think the power of that statement is in the words. But we know that's not true. You see, somebody might not get it. The power is not. The power is coming from your mind. If, if I say, oh, apples are white, huh? And if you understand I'm trying to teach you something, uh, you'll get it. But if you don't have the karma, you won't get it. So the highest school of Buddhism says, even the words you use to prove Buddhism are coming from you. And the, just below them, Still middle way. They say, no, no, can't be. There has to be some power out there in those words, you know. There has to be some power in the words, okay. That's, that separates the two highest schools. Got it? So there's five schools, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, do Jason. It's net, sheer net. It's fixed at four. four, four. Okay, yeah. shooting it. Never said you couldn't divide Dukta. those into seventy-three. Dukta, <laughs> shooting it. Du By the way, Dukta sometimes. Well, we'll get there. Okay, um, Marpo Yimbata. It must be red. Are you telling me it's red? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me a white? Now, he's he's more precise. 
He didn't say, are you telling me a white conch shell is red? What did he say? He said it, it must be red. He didn't say a white conch shell. He, what wording did he use? He's careful. Well, he just says red. No? What, how did he describe the conch shell? The color of a white, white conch shell. Okay, he didn't say yeah. the conch shell is white. Yeah. He said the color of the conch shell In is white. He's being more precise. He's being more precise, okay? Can you say the cup is white? No. The color of the cup is white. <laughs> okay. So he's being very careful. And that's a great sign in the second line of the huge book. It's a massive book. It's going to take him more than a year. Chilling cup of cup. So take the color of a white conch shell. Uh, I, we should use the language that I used in Course 13. I don't remember what I used, but it was good. Are you telling me, are you saying it's red? Or so I think it, ask the hypertexture. It must be red, right? Okay. There are two possible answers to a tell statement. Mm. Are you telling me it's red? Um. What's your two choices? You can say yeah. in English. Well, yes. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah. Duh means right. Yeah. Chi chair means why you say that? Why do you say that? Okay. Now that answer is never written in a Tibetan book. Mm -hmm. And I want to supply it. I want you to supply it. Mm -hmm. Okay? The second so are you telling me that's are you telling me it's red? And then you're gonna supply it. Based on what the next guy says, Kado mm -hmm. Imbe If the next if the if the next sentence ends in cheer, you have to say it was, he said, the answer to tell was chicha. And you said, baba baba uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. So you're going to supply that. It, it, what, what these books are written, they don't give the opponent's answers. Yeah. They're supposed to be uh, inferred. Inferred, yeah. Hmm. Okay? So you have to supply. I want you to supply them because these books are going to be read by normal people. Okay. How's this exchange going to go? Uh, someone makes the claim. Uh, if, it, if something is a color, it is always red. And then we say, well, then take the color of a white shell. It must be red, right? And then he's going to say, why do you say that? Chicha. Mm -hmm. okay, why do you say that? In the reading 13, I put it in braces. Uh -huh. I'm taking it out of braces. I'm taking off the braces. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you say that? And we say kara in bichin. Because it's a color. Okay, got it? You okay? If you don't get this one, you're not going to get the next 3,000. <laughs> okay, and this is the first one. This guy comes along and says, everything with the color is red. And we say, okay, take the color of a white shell. It must be red, right? And the guy says, why do you say that? And we say, because it's a color. Okay, simple. Okay, this gets you thinking, you know, Buddhists are supposed to think logically. After 25 years of this, you, you, you can answer any question in Thailand for 400 people. You know, you're like, uh, uh, come on. You know, you don't have any trouble answering a question from somebody, okay? For 25 years, every winter, for three months, we study this. If we're Majimika class, Abhidhamma class, Vinaya class, Dhumta class, it doesn't matter. Every month, every year for three months in the winter, we study this. Because it's the spice of the whole cake. And the whole thing needs this. Okay? All right. They call this the door to emptiness. This book is called the door to emptiness. Okay. Kara uh, Imbe Now, when somebody says chir, because it's a color, the opponent has two choices. They can say, Actually, there's no answer for it. <laughs> yeah, Kevin yeah. Machung means, I agree with your answer, but it doesn't prove what you think. I agree with your answer, but it doesn't prove what you think. Okay? If you say Kevin Machung here, it means, I agree it's a color, but I don't agree it has to be red. Okay? If I say Thaumabdu, it's not a color. It's not a color. So two choices. You can say not necessarily, or you can say not. Okay. Now, 
we cover both possibilities. Uh -huh. If the guy says Kelba Machin, we say Kelba okay. okay, mm. K. This is K Lemba. You already agree it was necessarily the case. You already agree. Kelba K. You agree it's necessarily the case. If it's a color, it has to be red. You, you already agreed that. You can't go back now. Okay. What if it says Tamadu? It's not a color. Okay, so Kaba K, he splits his, uh, we split. If he says Kaba Machung, which you're going to supply, mm -hmm. we say, you, which means you, not necessarily. We say, you already said it was necessary. You said all colors are white. You already said that. So Kaba K means like, you already said that. Okay, Tamadu, if he says Tamadu, I disagree with your reason. What was the reason? Because it's a color. color. It's a color. Okay, and it was, if the guy says it's not a color, Red is not a color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. White is not a color. Uh, so red is not a color. Anyway. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. We say Maduna. Yeah. We, we, I mean, very patiently. Uh, by the way, I want you to cut after Maduna, right? So if you don't agree, if you don't agree that it's a color, the color of a white shell, if you don't agree that it's a color, Maduna, then you're very patient, and you go back to the beginning. Chudum Kapu Chudum. Okay, take a white shell. Just consider a white shell. Okay, got it in your mind? White shell, got it in your mind? Kado, the color of a white shell. Kado yimba, tau up or tau down? Yeah. Yeah, because we believe it. It is so. It is so a color, you know? The color of a shell is, it, it, is, it is so a color. I think it says it is so white. Of course right? it's a color. No? Kado yimbata. Oh. Kado yimbata. Because he said, madu. Yeah. We said it's a color. He said, no, it's not a color. What are we talking about? Uh -huh. Color of a white shell. He says, it's not a color. We say, it is, of course, if it's a color. Kado yimbata. Yeah. Nice. When you believe it, you go up. Kado yimbata. Why? Because it's white. Because it's white. Okay. Of course, we're not trying to prove that white shells are white. <laughs> we're just getting you used to using this system. We're just trying to get used to this system. Okay. So let's run the whole thing from the top. Okay. Here, I'm I'm Shanug, you're wrong. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm the bad guy. You're the good guy. Okay. Okay, you knew that uh, already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if something is... A, Adam, I just got to tell you seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if something's a color, mm -hmm. it's always red. No. <laughs> no, no, give the, give, the, give the answer he gave. Well, I, mean, couple, I was having a hard time. Like, chudum kado chudum. Yeah, chudum, that's what... Yeah, okay. Say it in English. Are you telling me it's red? No. No. <laughs> chudum. Yeah, chudum kapo kado chudum. Yeah, same thing. So, uh, consider the color of a white conch shell. Okay. Yeah, are you telling me it's, well, uh, why do you say that it's red? Are you telling me it's red? Are you telling me it's red? Uh, why do you say that? Um, why, you try, why do you accuse me of saying it's red? Well, you said that if something is a color, it has to be red. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> then you say because, because it's a color. Yeah, well, because it's a color. Why, you, why do you think I think it's red? Because uh, it's a color. Yeah, because it's a color. Oh, oh, well, I didn't say just because the color had to be, had to be red. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You said that already. Okay. You told me, Kara. You told me if it's if it's a color it had to be red. Mm -hmm. Now you're going back on it. See, you're gonna you're ready. Let's start from the top. Here we go. Ready? Uh, Sweet, my, yeah. If anything is a color, it must be red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, take the color of a white conch shell. Okay. What do you want? What, what about it? Well, I mean, that's a, are you good, telling good, me it's red? Good, good, perfect. We're yeah. perfect so far. Then I say, why, why do you think I said that? Because well, you, are, you already said it. You said no. because it's a color. Yeah, because it's a color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just because it's a color doesn't mean it has to be red. Well, uh, well if you don't agree that it's a color. No, Kevin K. Kevin K. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, you just already be, said that. Uh, yeah, you already yeah. said it's necessarily the case. Uh, just, and then let, okay, let's back up one step. Well, just because it's a color doesn't mean it has to be red. Mm -hmm. Then you say, but you said it had to be. Mm -hmm. You just said it had to be. You started the whole argument 
where there's something with a color, it had to be red. You're throwing me off with that. Let's start from the top. Let's start from the top. No, you got it. You know, the bare ground. People are gonna push you, push you, push you, push you. They don't have time to think. Okay, you got automatic. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, uh, anytime something is a color, uh, it has to be red. Well, consider there. Take the color of a white conch shell. Okay. Uh, Can you tell me it's red? Uh, why do you say that? Well, because it's a color. Oh, good. Well, I wouldn't say that just because something is a color, it has to be red. Well, if you don't agree, then take the color. No, red. no, tell uh, it's, it's a It's a color. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, you already said that. Yeah, you already agreed that it had, if this, then that. Yeah. See, in my mind, it, it's you already did that. Yeah. Let's start from the top. You ready? Yeah. See how far we get. <laughs> uh, if anything is a color, it must be red. Yeah. Well, take the color of a white cop show. Okay. What, what do you want to say? You tell me it's red. Uh, why do you say that? Well, because it's a color. Uh, well, I, I don't mean just because something is a color. It has to be red. But you already said that. Good. You already said. You already agreed to that necessity. See, to me, the two are linked already. Like to say one kind of. Did you have a question? You say something like you're the one who said it was red. Because when yeah. you say you already agree that it's red, that means that somehow you're saying that, yeah, all colors are red. No, yeah. Uh, which sounds a little weird. You already said that one meant the other, literally. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You already said that it's something. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. You accepted the keba. Your mouth keba. You, you have to mention keba. You, keba you keba. said it was necessarily so. You could say that. Okay. You no. said you said it was necessarily so. Okay. Oh, uh, so I won't answer that. Um, I'll say uh, it's not a color. The white of a of a of a conch shell is not a color. I'll change my answer. Mm -hmm. It's not a color. Kado uh, yimba. Yimba tar. It is too goddamn color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's that high voice. This is you, right? It is too color. Why? Why do you say that? Because it's wine. Because it's wine? Okay, let's do it faster. You ready? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Wind it up. Uh, anything is a color, it's a red. Uh, take, take the color of a white cock shell. Okay. You're telling me it's red. Uh, why do you say that? Well, because it's a color. Uh, well, that's not necessary just because something's a color. It has to be you already red. said that. Good. You said it was necessary. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll change my answer, okay? Uh, it's not a color. The white of a conch shell is not a color. Uh, well, it is a color. Right? No, if you maduna, if you say if that. You, if you don't agree that it's a color, consider it a color. Good, good, good. Uh, what about it? Well, it's a color. It is true color. Yeah. Okay. Well, why do you say that? Because it's white. Uh, I disagree that it's white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay. I, I disagree that it's white. Uh, well, take the. Take the couple color to yeah, take the color of a. Consider the color of a white of a of a of a white, white conch shell. Okay, yeah. let's consider it. What do you want to say? Um, Carpo yimba. Carpo yimba tell. Uh, tell. White is a color. It is too white, right, you idiot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, <laughs> the color of a white conch shell is one. Chick? Now, now, okay, now listen. The white conch shell. Now listen. One? You can't say, uh, take the color of a white conch shell. Mm. It's white because it's the color of a white conch shell. That's not allowed in logic to repeat your elements. You, that's what your partner does when you have an argument. Yes. <laughs> you cannot repeat the same thing over again. Oh. Take a white conch shell. It's white because it's a white conch shell. Okay, you can't. You have to change one word. Okay, anything. Okay, you can say, consider the color of a white conch shell. It's white because it can be called white conch shell. You see, any different, anything, but it cannot be the same, because the guy already doesn't agree. You can't say, take a conch white conch shell. It's white because it's a white conch shell. You can't say that. It doesn't prove anything to him. He already disagreed. You know? What I said is right because what I said is right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what your partner does. When you get married, you find out. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, you get this kind of argument all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm right. I'm right. Why? Because I'm right. <laughs> you can't repeat the same 
<laughs> it's not legal. Oddly, in a marriage, that <laughs> They went anywhere. So, we have to change it any way we can. Doesn't work in a marriage. So, we can say, because a white conch shell is the same as a white conch shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're one of the same. You can't say, yeah. You can't say a Did we change it? Ball. Did uh, we change slightly. it? Slightly. Only slightly. That's yeah. enough. That's enough. That's yeah. enough. Uh -huh. Okay, dumb chick means same as. Oh. Black dumb chick means same as. That means mm -hmm. somehow different. Dumb chick. Oh, it's not. It's I, didn't, I didn't use the same element. I didn't say. Okay, go ahead. Uh. What's that? Oh, take a white conch shell. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, take a white conch shell. Uh, it's white because it's a white conch shell. Does that convince you? No. No, you have to say something different. Mm -hmm. Take a white conch shell. It's white because it's, it's the same thing as a white conch shell. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that a different way to say it? Yeah, it's not likely to be convincing. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> The, the, tell him, describe the only valid opponent who would accept that. Someone who already accepts a white conch shell is white. No, no. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Someone who already accepts the reason that's white. That would make it false. Someone who already, Somebody already accepts that if something is one with a white conch shell, it oh, must be the color of a white conch shell. You're trying to convince somebody. Of something if something is there. one with the color, if something is one and the same as the color of a white conch shell, it must be the color of a white conch shell. Okay. You've got to find somebody who understands that the color of a white conch shell, the color of anything that's the same as a white conch shell is white, but they didn't understand that the color of a white conch shell is white. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that would be, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to find. <laughs> it's hard to find. <laughs> but it's possible. It's conceivable. Okay? It's possible. So it's legal. It's a legal argument. Okay? You should have been a lawyer, right? <laughs> okay, we're going to run it one more time just to make sure everybody's got it. Uh, oh, Adam, I was just thinking that uh, anything that's a color must be red. <laughs> uh, we'll take the color of a white conch shell. Okay, uh, why do you want to do that? Are you, taking, are you telling me that it's red? Uh, why do you say that? Because it's a color. Well, just because it's a color doesn't mean it's red. You already said that. Good, you already said that. Oh, well, oh I'm sorry, you're right. Let me change that. Uh, the color of a white conch shell is not a color. If you don't agree that it's a color, consider the color of a white conch shell. Yeah, what do you want to say? It's a color. It is to a color. It is to a color. Oh, uh, why? Is a color. Why? Well, because it's white. Uh, I don't agree that the color of a white conch shell is white. Uh, well, consider the color of a... No. Good, good, go, go. Consider the, the color, color of a white, white conch, conch shell. Uh, Carpo yimbata. Carpo yimbata. Oh, yeah. It, it's white. It is so it white. It is so white. Yeah. Uh, why are you saying that? Well, because a white conch, the color of a white conch shell and the color of a white conch shell are the same thing. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> because it's the same. Because it's the same as the color of a white conch shell. I mean, that, yeah, then. Okay. Yeah. Got it? What, what, what she said, uh, because the color of white She did the whole thing. She filled it out. She felt the whole thing. The color of a white conch shell is, is the same thing as the color of a white conch shell. That's okay. You can say it. She stated the whole choke choke Well, I just uh, said the color white is this is and the color of a white conch shell are the same. Uh, that nobody said that. Saying? No. Uh, we call choke chu. Uh, choke chu opening lines of the Pramana Vartika. Uh, you know, uh, the relationship between one and three. Mm -hmm. The relationship between uh, the, the subject and the quality subject and the quality accepted by everybody, which is the reason. And the quality asserted is the second element, you know. Okay, you ready? <sighs> by the way, this will lead into formal logic. One of the subjects of the dura is formal logic. It's the forms of logic, but they don't start with that. Okay, got it? Okay, one more time, uh, Adam. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I was thinking, Adam, you know, if something's a color, it's always red, you know? Yeah, well, what about the color of a white conch shell? Uh, well, what, what, what about it? Well, <laughs> are you telling me that it's red? Oh, why would you say that? Well, because it's a color. Oh, why well, didn't say just because something was a color it had to be red? Come on, you just got through saying that. Good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, well, uh, let, me, let me go back. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it's not a color. The color of a white shell is not a color. Well, if you don't agree that it's a color, take the color of a white conch shell. All right. <laughs> Caro Gimbartel. Car, uh, yeah, Caro Gimbartel. It is so. It is so color. Yeah, it is so a color. Oh, why? Well, because it's white. Uh, it's not white. I mean, the color of a white conch shell is not white. Well, take the color of a white conch, or consider the color of a white conch shell. Then. It is so. Good, I like the so. I like the so. Um, it is so, right? Because? <laughs> because the color of a white conch shell is the same as the color of a white conch shell. Bam! Right? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now. Now. Uh, 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 sour dinner. Sour means... You go back to a tell. You go back to the original tell. Sour means, sour means go back to the original tell. What was the first tell? Uh, go back and find me the first tell. It's red. I guess it's red. Yeah. It's red. Are you saying it's red? No, sorry, that's him. Are you saying it's red? <laughs> okay, I'm doing Adam. Okay? Are you saying it's red? Okay. Sour beer means. If you go back to the beginning and say, oh, oh, now I agree, it is red. The whole part we just finished was when I said, why do you say that? Why do you say it's red? Now he says, now I say, OK, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. You're right. The color of a white conch shell is red. You're right. Duh. Duh means I agree. Now, duh no. Oh. Now, you keep sure. coming back with the same oh, yeah. chicken. You're being very patient with this right. idiot called Geshe Michael. <laughs> Cut. Go ahead. <laughs> no, <laughs> be overly patient. <laughs> In English. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the color of a white conch shell. Okay, let's do that. Um, it must be red. No, careful. So, it's... <laughs> It's it's red. Marpa Mayimba. Tell. Because that's what you really believe. That the color of a white When you believe it. Mayim. Yeah, Marpa Mayim. Oh, I see. I see the Mayim. Sorry. Oh, so you're telling me it's not red? No. It's not red. Yeah, it's not red. Yeah, it's not red. Yeah, so you're telling me it's not red? No. That's the sarcastic one. Yeah. It is so not red. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It can't be red. In English, we say it can't be red. Yeah. Oh, why do you think that? Well, because it's. White. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Uh, my cap. Well, uh, just because something's white doesn't mean it can't be red. Yeah. My cap. My cap. No. Cap. I hear about up and down. Good. Of course, there's a camera here. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the camera? So if something is white, red. it cannot be red. 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 Yeah. Okay. I said not necessarily can. Yeah. Okay, just because it's white doesn't mean it can't be red. And you said, come on. Cap, if something's that white, it cannot be red. Yeah. It's a keba. Okay, got it? Uh, I would say makyap at the beginning of this. If you say makyap. Uh, that's what I said. Uh -huh. okay, yeah. If you answer makyap. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah uh, it's not necessarily the case that if something is white, it can't be red. So, and you say, keba yabata? It is necessarily the case that if something is white, it can be red because... <laughs> okay? <laughs> because because why? Give me a reason. Because Here's the punchline. Kapo da mapo nyiki shitun. Because white and red are... Shitun. Say shitun. Shitun. This is the same term. No. This is a different word. This is a logic word. That's each, each of you guys... It has a different vocabulary. Abhidharma will not have this word in it. Okay? Shitun uh, means one thing, which is both. Yeah. Shitun uh -huh. means oh. a she, a foundation, where two qualities are tumbo. They can get along with each other. What was the tun in your text? Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Come on. He said, any explanation of emptiness must be Oh, the four schools. Then, then with one of the four schools. Sorry. It must be in accord Accordance. with one of the four. We, here we got here. Here, accord means those two qualities have to be able to coexist in a single mm -hmm. object. But when you translate this with colors, uh, you have to say, 
there is no one thing which is wholly white mm -hmm. and exactly. wholly red. You've got to use it entirely. True. Otherwise, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get students come up and say, well, what about the checkerboard color of a red yeah. and white picnic table cover? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, that's it. Just cut it off there. Just cut it off there. Add the word entirely. Save yourselves 20 years of stupid questions from students. Yeah. You know? <laughs> One thing cannot be all red and all white at the same time. Okay. Okay, got it. What about a peppermint uh, <laughs> peppermint stick? You ran away. Okay, so you should add the I'm suggesting you add the word entire to save yourself years of grief. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's, uh, one because one thing cannot be both red and white. And, oh, and entirely red. I, I don't agree that there can't be one thing which is entirely white and entirely red at the same time. I, I disagree. Well, not, uh, my, yeah, my good means if you disagree. Mm -hmm. Now this next tail is going to go up or down? Uh, is it something we believe or not? Is it something you believe or not? No. Do you believe that there's no such thing? Do you believe that there's no such thing? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah. there's no such thing. Yeah, you do. So you go up or down? No, up. up. I get it confused. Now, I know. <laughs> in, in, a, in a week, you won't get it confused. By the end of the 10 days, you won't get it confused. Okay, so he's going to say, Of course there's nothing which is, can be, there's, of course there's no one thing which is entirely white and entirely red at the same time because 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 white, being white and being red are Contradictory qualities. Mm -hmm. Gawa. And we will study contradiction in this text. Contradiction is one of the subjects of the Dura. It will come later. Sanjik Menengel and Pensen Pankel, two kinds of contradiction. Okay, so the contradiction. You can't have, once this is red, it can't be white at the same time. Okay, that's called Gawa. Okay, got it? Uh, that's the time for this class. The next really? Class, there's no break before the next class either. So oh, by the way, we just finished the argument because not the next word is Shenyang. Not Shenyang. Shenyang. Shenyang is uh, the butcher also came. Shenyang. 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 Shenyang means uh, moreover. So he's changing subjects. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good luck, young man. You got the worst one. <laughs> Confusing. Please use the same vocabulary that I used in 13. 13. Go back and look at it. And Because uh, I don't remember what I used. That was how many years ago? 95? 22 years ago. Okay, so don't bug me. Okay, let's do this thing. <laughs> Sashi, <laughs> Why do we do this Sunday? Awesome. <laughs> now, then you get into, you go to Thailand and there's 400 people asking you questions and you're just like, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, no. Yeah. You know, you can take anything. Any stupid question, you're like, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, wait, wait, wait. And you're like, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just, it's all in your mind. You're just debating them, you know. And it's very easy. Because you can answer, you become a great teacher. And you're also better able to convince yourself not to do wrong things.
<laughs> because our own mind is the least logical thing in our life. <laughs> oh, but I really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's against your vows. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's really fun. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's fun? No, you can't repeat the reason. <laughs> Okay, cool. What's next? Doomta? We get a break? I think we should take a break.